In this video, we will seek to tie a thick tie. Its consistency is thicker than most. When you feel it, you can tell there's a lot of bulk in this tie. So we're gonna tie it a little different. In previous videos, I've shown how to tie a half Windsor with a medium weight tie, not this thick, medium weight. I've also shown how to tie a thin tie, meaning very thin, almost like a silk tie. In this video, we are gonna tie a thick tie. Um, in the previous videos, the medium weight tie, we used a half Windsor. In the lightweight or thin tie, we used a double Windsor. In this particular video, we're gonna use what's called a wrap knot, a wrap knot. It uses the least amount of material in the knot, so it won't be so bulky. No one likes a big, huge, bulky knot for a tie. Some do. If you want that, this isn't the video for you, but for the normal looking knot up top, this is what will work the best. So let's go ahead and get started with a wrap knot. This particular tie is not real long, so I need this one to be kind of short. This one, I've kind of already adjusted the length down. Need a little bit of room. I'm probably, oh, about eight inches below the belt to get enough room. So I'm gonna take and I'm gonna wrap this just like we normally would. Wrap that like that. The This longer front side is out front. The shorter back side is in the back. I'm gonna wrap that around just one time, just like before, but then we're gonna do something a little different. We get that wrapped. You see how much bulkier it is than the other ones were. We're gonna hold that. And instead of going up and through like we would with the Windsor, we're just gonna wrap the front. And that is why it's called a wrap knot. So we've, we've come around, we're just gonna wrap that back around the front. Then we're gonna take this end and put it up and through the hole that's created right there. At this point, we can check our length. Hold that up, see where this is at. And we are just right at the top of the pant. We wanna be just a little lower, but whenever we form the knot, I think we can get a more, little more length out of it. Hold that up, we're gonna make a little space where our wrap was, pull that up and through that front wrap. We're gonna bring it down, tighten it, tighten it up here. Now you'll notice on a wrap knot, this end will be a little bit higher than this, but once we put it together up top, you really won't notice that a whole lot. And so let's check our length. Oh yeah, perfect. You can see up top, the knot looks a little bit different than the other, but it's a great knot if you, if you don't want a lot of bulk up here. Take this part, shove that back through like we normally would, kind of hide that back here. We don't want it to be popping out when we're moving around. Make that nice and flat, adjust our knot up top. Looking pretty good. This is the look of a wrap knot, and this works really well with a thick tie. If you have a thin tie, you need to use a different method because the top, this will be really, really, really tiny, the knot. Unless you're looking for a real tiny knot, that would be fine. This is a wrap knot, and it works best for a thick tie. 